Boudin in the parking lot, fam. Frenchies. What's good, Houston? It's your boy, Cole Cole. Welcome to Houston Eats. We back one more again, fam. Hey, check this out, man. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that like button, patong. Hit that subscribe button, but on. That way you can stay locked in for more of this good content coming your way, fam. Hey, check this out, fam. We got someplace very, very, very special today we checking out, fam. We checking out the OG, triple OG, original Frenchies chicken location, fam. That's right, that's right. We finally doing it, we finally doing it, baby. We finally made it. Hey, man, check this out. And this is the original location off of, uh, 3602 Scott Street. And just so you know, this is right across from my alma mater stadium, Go Cougs, University of Houston's stadium is right across from there, man. So just in case you need a landmark to find this spot, hey, that's where you're gonna find that, all right? Without further ado, let's get into what we're gonna be trying today, fam, all right? Him. <coughs> so we're gonna be trying that five wing special. Not, yeah, not five wing special. I omitted to have the drink and fries you know what I'm saying? So I just got just the five individual wings, which came out to $9.95. Then I got one order of them boudin rolls. I wanted the boudin balls, Pauls, but they didn't have, I guess they don't make the balls the most, so they make like the rolls. It's like a, like a, like an egg roll type situation with boudin filling in it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to see what that's like. I'm going to try a slice of sweet potato pie, and that's like for $2.99. And then all together with taxes, it come out to $17.79. Now, I mean, now I don't know if you know, but nowadays, fried chicken wings are pretty hot. Cool, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter where you go. A lot of times, these chicken wings is going to be very, very high. So for five wings, $9, I mean, that's, that's yeah that's that's high i ain't gonna lie that's that's expensive but most everywhere is gonna be like that nowadays so i ain't tripping i ain't tripping it's just the og and i heard that if you go to french's you gotta try the original location because they had the best chicken i mean the best chicken possible i used to go here every now and then you know what i'm saying when i was attending u of h you know between classes i might i might slide over there get me a five piece or a four piece or you know whatever whatever you know what i'm saying and it was good but fam it used to be a line like nobody business man like if you run lunch time it's always a line i got it here open at 10 30. i was here before 10 30. all the people here was wait they actually have a new building before it was the original building that they had since 1969. so ever since 1969 they had their original building but i guess since then they've built a new building it's like a new it looked totally different you know it looked fancy and all that good stuff but hey i don't care about how good the building look how does that food taste? Is the food still bumping? Is the food still popping? We're gonna find out today, fam. Let's get into this food, all right? Hey, fam, you gotta stay in that bag, man. We gotta get in that bag. So, hey, you already know how it is. You know how I do. Exhibit A. I like that crisp on there. Look at that. That thing extra crispy, extra crunchy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Flaky. You know what I'm saying? Doing the thing, thug, fizzle. All right, let's see what that thing look like on the inside. Oh, mm. just straight crumb action, straight crumb action. Mm. Well, let's see what this thing. It smell amazing. It smell. I ain't gonna lie, but let's see what that thing tastes like. I ain't gonna keep you in too much suspense. Let's taste. Mmm, that's solid. Mmm, that's good, man. That's good. I actually think I prefer this over the balls, Pauls. <laughs> I need to grow up. But no, man, this, this is really good. Like the, the, the crunchiness from the egg roll. I forgot what you call this. But you know, the crust or whatever, it adds a nice level of texture, level of flavor, and it combines very perfectly with this inner boudin filling. And it makes for a real complete and delicious bite. Mmm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Look around. We're not here for the boudin ball or the, the boudin rolls. That's so weird to say. We're here for the chicken. But the chicken got to wait. Come on now, you know the chicken is king. So we're going to move on to this sweet potato pie, baby. Come on now, let's see what that the sweet potato pie hitting on. Not no pumpkin pie. We don't do pumpkin pie on this channel, fam. Maybe one day we might. But right now, we're on this sweet potato game. Oh, that thing fit. That thing's heavy too, boy. Ooh. Smell the earth, that, that earth, the spices. A little nutmeg action in there, a little cinnamon. I presume anyway. Yeah, nice pristine crust. 
You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm digging it. Let's taste. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Pretty good. I mean, it's not grandma's potato pie, but it's all good. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know what I'm saying? I, w I complain about it. I can bust this down on a good day. Yeah, man. You nice little subtle of dessert. That five piece special, bitch. Check it. Mmm. Oh, yeah, fam. Look at the crispies, the crunches. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm about to get you with it. Beautiful pieces of chicken like this, fam. Come on now. Who, who wanna mess up a nice piece of chicken like this thing, man? Let's taste. But well, first, I gotta show you some of that fat boy magic, man. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we don't need this drum, do we? It's all about them flats, baby, and that tip. I can show you how to eat that tip, too. But first, hey, fat boy magic. Let's go ahead and peel this thing back right here. Slide that bone one twist. Okay, smooth out. Boom. Bone number two. Come on. Twist that way. Twist to the left. Twist to the right. And pull that thing on. It'll come out just nice. Let's taste. Mmm. So something now. I'm gonna keep it a bean. The crisp is good, crunch is good, the texture of the meat is good. Something about the flavor is uh, a little off today. It's not my first time coming here. I'm gonna come here all the time. Check it is busting. And I actually smelled it when I pulled it out like shh. I was like, mm, that's an interesting little smell. And that same smell, I don't know if it's cohabitate with my olfactory system and my gustation, it affected my gustation, you know what I'm saying? Basically, I'm saying the smell of this thing, the way this thing smells is probably affecting the way it tastes. It's 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 not bad, but it's something, you can tell it's something that's there that ain't supposed to be there, that ain't part of the original recipe. I don't know if it's been sitting for a while, I don't know if somebody forgot to put some in there, or that shit that should be in there, or somebody put some in there that wasn't supposed to be in there, but yeah, man, it, it's on. I don't think it's been sitting for a long time because it tastes, it looked too juicy. Not juicy, but it looked, you know, soft. Like it, it don't look like they're taking them and sitting out for a while. It ain't, it ain't like that. I don't know, man. This is something though. Mm. This is something that it normally has. Okay. I think it's a seasoning issue. But right up here, it's like a concentration of seasoning. This is what tastes, this is what you're supposed to taste like right here. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, there it is. And I see, I gotta take points off because I had to resort to eating the, the drum mat just to get some good flavor. Come on now. You know my flats, guy. You're making the flats look bad right now. Mmm, man. Let me try this one more game. Maybe that was just a bad wing. Let me see. I ain't gonna do the whole fat boy magic. I'm just gonna do half half the magic and then it's gonna do. Mmm. 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 -hmm. That's good. That was good. All right. The other one might have been a little bad. It's early in the morning, but they just opened it up. Maybe the grease and everything wasn't such a way the way it normally is when they've been cooking for like um throughout the day. But now that one, that second wing was pretty good. It was good or good. Hey, in terms of like, uh, let me know in the comments if y'all want me to do a, a Frenchies versus Popeyes or Frenchies versus um, KFC. I even do um, Frenchies versus the original Timmy Chan's, man, because that's something that's coming up too, man. I got, you know what I'm saying? Timmy Chan's is another staple in mean, Houston. When you come to Houston, you got to try Timmy Chan's, man. And they got several locations. But like this location for Frenchies, this is the original location that's supposed to be heads, heads and tails above the rest. And typically they are. It's like Timmy Chan's is also a location that has its own original location that's supposed to be better than the rest. So I'm going to check them out. And you let me know if you want me to do a comparison between any of these other spots or maybe some other fried chicken joint that you want me to compare to Frenchies. Just let me know in the comments, man. But hey, my rating for French, the original OG, triple OG Frenchies is that, hey, man, they popping out here, man. They popping. The food, was the, 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 uh, the boudin balls was busting. That sweet potato pie was really good. Like I said, not grandma's sweet potato pie, but it was still a darn good pie, man. And this fried chicken, 
Hey man, I can't complain, man. I'm, I can I can bust this whole thing down if I wanted to, man. I'm I probably am throughout the day, you know what I'm saying? That's that's it. That's it for the day. I ain't gonna keep y'all holding. Make sure I get back to y'all wonderful, beautiful lives. Hey man, if you're new to the channel, please, please hit that like button, baton, if you like this video, and subscribe to the channel, Badong. That way you can stay locked in. For more content coming your way, and you can see what's popping and what's dropping here in Houston. And also, I do cooking videos and stuff too. I ain't did a cooking in a while, but it's gonna be some more coming up soon. So if you wanna see some food recipes or whatever, hey, stay locked in, lock crock ready to rock, man. I'ma show you what to do with that crock pot, you feel me? But hey, I love y'all, you know the rest. Peace.